As you can see, I'm in my garage, come workshop. I've got all my uh, tools that I use for woodworking and stuff like that. I've also, for the time being, got some uh, magic tricks that I'm working on and building and stuff like that. So uh, there's no fancy backdrop uh, uh, in this video. Uh, it's just purely to show you what's going on. Away we go. And this little trick, I made this, uh, st I didn't make the trick. The trick was out of some old magigrams which I've got uh, dozens of. Uh, it explained out another trick uh, and this is my take on it uh, on how to set it up. Um, I suppose you can do it lots of different ways but this is the way I did it. And what it is, we've got six envelopes here. I'm using coloured ones, you could use plain ones and write a number on or little coloured stickers, whatever. I've got six envelopes and they each contain an amount of coins, UK coins. Uh, every, every pack has got a different amount of uh, coins in. And the whole point of the trick is that the spectator or spectators will start to pick some envelopes and all be left with the, with one, the last one, when everybody's had a choice. An absolute free choice, I must say. It's a free choice. I'm not forcing nothing. Everybody has a free choice of whichever envelope they want. I've made a prediction, which is on this board, of which envelope, not which colour I shall get, which amount of money I shall get. Now remember, as I said, each one has got a different amount of money. I have written on here, on uh, my envelope, what it will contain. And there it is. It will be on full view, uh, uh, never to be touched again. So, and that's all we need. And a pair of scissors, which you'll, you'll see why later. So, there we go. Right, so the first drop, the spectator, first spectator comes along and as I said, it's a completely free choice. Um, he says, oh, I'll take the pink one. So you tell him that you, you don't want to touch the envelope, you don't want to be, you know, thinking of messing with it or in any way. So you'll just let it drop. He can pick it up, which he does. And then he tips out the money and he's got 31p by the look of it. Yeah, that's how much he's got. Next one comes along, he has the blue say, he can change his mind. Okay, I'll have this one. He picks up the envelope, you don't touch it. He picks up the envelope, he tips out his money and he's got uh, 50, 60, 65, still. Oh, he's got 70 odd P there in that one. Next spectator has a choice, completely free. He says, I'll take the brown one. He picks it up, tips the money out and he's got 10, 25, 26 feet, <clears throat> no problem. Another spectator comes along, has a choice, changes his mind if he wants to, completely free, I'll have the purple one. He tips it out. Oh, he's got, he's got uh, 20, 32, 46, 8, 10, 41 P. That leaves last two envelopes. I'm going to be left with one of them. The spectator then chooses the blue, yellow, whichever one he wants. He takes the blue. I drop it, he picks it up, I don't touch it. He picks it up, he tips it out, and he's got, again, a different amount, 15, 17, 19, 21, 22p. They've all got different amounts, and that leaves me with this one. Now, I'm not going to touch it, and what I'll do, so that it's not untouched, the spectator can put his hand underneath, or he can watch it drop, and we cut it, or he can cut it, whichever, and he lets it, he cuts it, and I have got that amount of money in that envelope, untouched by anybody. The spectator tips it out, and you can see that I've got 21 pence. So, out of all them envelopes, all, everyone had a free choice, they all had different different amount of money in each envelope, and I've been left with 21p, which is different to all the rest. Now, my prediction, which has been over here all the time, says... I will get 21p and that's the trick it's as easy as that all self-working there's no forcing no anything of any kind just a matter of setting it up so easy we'll now go into how to do it right as you can see 
I have six envelopes, each with 21p, that's UK money. And I've also got six UK coins, different uh, denominations, from one pence to 50 pence. And those are what we're going to use to perform this trick. Another trick. We start off with six envelopes of whatever way you're going to do it. A certain amount of coins, a prediction, and then you set. And this is how you, this is how you start and do it. Each one of the envelopes, now I'm using six. I'm using six English coins, British coins. Um, whatever you're going to use, you could use five, four, three, it doesn't matter how many, when you use your it's a different amount. But at the moment, in each envelope, is 21 pence. So whichever envelope is chosen, it will always be end up with 21 pence. And this is how you set it up. You start off, you know you've got 21 pence in this envelope. You put a coin, you've got, I've got six different coins and they need to be different coins. You put it just under the flap. Shut the flap and then clip that coin in the clip. So the coin is now at the top of there. 21p in here with a coin in there. And the same goes then for all the rest of them. You put the coin, you put the coin just on the edge of the flap, shut the flap, put it in the clip. That coin is now stuck at the top with 21p down there. Again, 21p in the envelope, put a coin close to the top, shut the flap, and you carry on and do that with all the envelopes, like so, with all the envelopes, so that we know now that we've got six envelopes with 21p at the bottom of each one and there's a coin held under that clip a different value coin held under the clip so each one of the envelopes at the bottom of them contains 21p or whichever denomination coin you're using but they all are 21, you could have 28, you could have 53, you could have, you could have any amount of them, as long as they're all the same. And you've got a different coin held under the clip. The rest is straightforward, isn't it? It's just so easy to do. As a spectator calls a colour or a number, whichever you're gonna, way you're going to do it, you, you, you tell him that you're not going to touch the envelope and you know, you don't want to be seen to be messing. You're just going to let the clip go. The spectator picks up that envelope now you know now that that top coin which was held under the clip has now tipped or dropped into that 21p. It's got to be more than 21p. He doesn't know that, but he's happy he's got that. Next spectator does exactly the same. He picks it up. That coin now has gone from the top held on the clip to inside the envelope. And he's got a certain amount. And the same goes for all of these envelopes. You drop them off. The spectator picks them up, the coin has dropped from the top to there. This one comes, the spectator picks it up, he has a look, the coin now dropped from there to there. But the last two, doesn't matter which, it's a completely free choice. He drops it off, he picks it up, he has a look, and he's got an amount in there. The coin's dropped from the top under that clip, straight into the bottom of the envelope. That leaves me with that. And that's the reason why at the end one you say, I don't want to be seen to um, mess with the envelope, so either I can cut it, or, or uh, you can cut it. Uh, I cut it halfway, click, and that's where you end up with that. You cut it halfway, bang, so the coin is still left under there. So you know you've got 21p in there because they all have 21p, but you've not let that coin go. So your envelope is guaranteed, guaranteed, 
to get 21p. It's so simple, but it's a real baffler to the spectators. I've done it many, many times over the years. Nobody ever clocks on to it. They don't even suspect anything like that. Um, and it's a great trick. Uh, uh, it passes a few minutes uh, and it leaves them scratching their heads. That's brilliant. So there you go. I've got some more to put on later or another time. Great stuff. Okie doke. I'll sit there.